what is going on? Hey. Welcome to episode 11 of the Yuki Dun Podcast. I'm going for a bit of a, what is this, a Greek vibe? I don't know what vibe this is. Definitely continental. The Yuki Dun Podcast. I said, the Greek of the Yuki Dun Oh, I've got the donkey and it's coming to the show. I've got the donkey and it's coming to <laughs> the show. Episode 11, we are in. Probably the weirdest start in the world. It's, I'll be honest, it's definitely thrown me off. <laughs> I'll be honest. We like to do that with guests. Oh, yeah, I like it. Yeah. I like Introducing uh, Mr. Jake Kelly for the first time in the show. Anybody who doesn't know, you doing? Or, or you probably guess now, it's actually Tom Kelly's brother. Hey! I am. I am. How you doing, boys? You're right. Hello, hello. Hello, nice welcome. I see you. Oh, I'll put a camera on him to. Just Oh God! There you go. Look at him. Dude. Oh, beautiful. God. Wave at the camera. <laughs> Hi. He's filling in this week. Hey, welcome to episode eleven, guys. Uh, welcome. We'll start this uh, podcast like I do everyone. Now, how do you do it? How well, do you start it? How do I start it? Well, I'll show you how I start it, Robert. Here we go. Uh, if you're watching our pretty little faces on YouTube, you can actually listen to our sexy little voices on podcasts, mm-hmm. or the podcast app, and Stitcher. Stitch it. And lots of other sites. But Tom Kelly isn't there, so you can't really tell me what it is. No. Plus, also, vice versa, if you listen to us on any form of app, you can actually watch us as well through YouTube and see our sexy little faces. Whichever one you're doing, you have the option to do the opposite. Yes. Just do it. Exactly. Just do it. How are we all today, gentlemen, for episode 11? We made it. I'm feeling spicy. I'm going to say spicy today. Yeah. Yeah. A little bit little bit wavy around the edges, a little bit kooky, a <laughs> little bit vibey and spicy. I feel Beautiful. spicy. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm feeling good. How are you, Jake, for the first time you've ever done a podcast in your life? Yeah, no, it's it's good. Um, obviously, I, I'm, I've been an avid listener since it started. <laughs> Fantastic. It's, it's always what I wanted to what's do. Sh- what's your favourite episode? Episode <laughs> three, when you all got undressed. No, um, no I think my, la- my favourite one was episode <laughs> nine. It or, sounds like or Star ten. Wars clips now. Or ten. Nine was one of my favourite ones. I think that's when we just... The dog story yeah, got me. Yeah, Absolute story. Disney. I enjoyed telling them stories. Yeah, yeah. And then obviously the interview, episode 10 with Dex. Well, that was just something a bit different. And I think, uh, yeah, I think people can get away, get something out of that, which yeah, yeah. I think was quite funny. For our first uh, interview, we started off on a good one. I loved you, it. I, I, I think really enjoyed it. I think you may have peaked. Yeah. A little bit. He was this is the final episode. Yeah, <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> this is the wrap up. We all see you later. But no, um, he was he was really good, obviously. His knowledge mm. is just insane. Well, I just love talking to anyone that's that passionate about yeah, yeah. something yeah, yeah. that they Fair do. Yeah. Um, no matter what it is, I love listening to people when they are passionate about it. To be what fair, Rob, you killed all the questions last week. Yeah, everyone keeps saying, like, I just. I didn't realise I did. I was like, to be fair, the first half an hour, my, my, my microphone and my headphones weren't working very well. And it felt weird, <laughs> felt odd, <laughs> but I ploughed through, and no, yeah, yeah, I just I wanted to get the most out of deck, and I knew that by asking him questions and trying to rein in my uh, disgusting <laughs> humour <laughs> might help. That. No, I think you you fully went like Jeremy Paxman on it. You was like, so Declan, glasses off, tell us everything. <laughs> no, it was wicked, mate. As as a listener as well as obviously a friend of the boys, it was yeah, wicked. I was impressed. Yeah, oh, cool. That's good to hear. All right, that's well, enough. I've got a serious side. Can I uh, just interject? Uh, I want to start off proceedings with tonight. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, Bewitched still, still exists. You know, the, oh, the uh, band? The band. Yeah. Well, they're actually gigging. You know what, the, the Irish? Yeah. What, so they still, I think their latest album, I'm going to pull this up in a minute because I am behind the controls. They've got a latest album. Uh, their latest. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, it came out 11 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. it's, really, it's really weird because me and Leanne were like looking up like weird songs we used to listen to. And I was going through like Shania Squain. Squ- Shania Squain. <laughs> Shania Squain. <laughs> Shania Swain. <laughs> Shania, Are we related? <laughs> yeah, Shania Swain. Uh, level 42, Queen. Nice. Mm-hmm. Anybody who knows me, I'm a yep. big fan of Queen. R- and running in the family. I was like, what is that? I- were they Irish? Yeah, they were Irish. Were they sisters? Like, I remember them being in a tree house in the video and skipping hey in the fields boys, and stuff. Sitting in a tree. tree. Romeo wants you to yeah, come for they, tea. And it's really weird because someone at work today was like... Uh, a double denim. I can't... Yeah. Mate, hot. Someone at work today said, I'm going for, uh, to Butlins at the weekend. I was like, my oh lord. God. But it sounded all right because it was night is weekend at Butlins. Mm. Oh, no, I've heard a lot about this. It's actually quite a big event. I mean, Butlins holds some big got, banger dudes. Mate, oh, well, why are you carry on talking? Yeah, have a look who's playing. Mate, but Bewitched are playing. So that's... Oh, really? Said, oh, Bewitched are there. And I was like, that's really weird, me and oh, Leanne were just talking about Bewitched. I want to find out I would love to go to like a festival or an event like that where they play all the old retro night stuff. Like, imagine if Eiffel... What is it? 65, 65 mate, mate. Big time. And blue, da 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 i tell you Banger. what, they were massive in Belgium. Really? <laughs> yeah. What, I, I what year? What, you saw them? 
No, well, yeah. I went to Belgium <laughs> to watch Eiffel 65 do one song and the follow up Yellow. No, I, I would. I would generally do that. No, I think they like sold um, millions of records in like in Europe. I can really imagine. Well, that. there you go, boys. I'm just bringing this Let's up. Have a look. So is this is this Bewitch or is this the lineup? An Irish girl group consisting of twin sisters. I want to say that says Adele and. Kiwi? Well, when was the latest album? Because I was looking at Spotify, right? Mm-hmm. And so I say think... it'll be the collection. So I'm guessing that's like. Best Mate, that's 2016. Look, that mm-hmm. nah. back. Yeah, but is that um, a best off album? <laughs> yeah, what? It was just a single release. Just, and loads of different remixes. I want to say honestly, no. The oh, roller a, coaster was good. They had a brand that's new right. album like 2015. Yeah. I want to say that. I'm gonna have to look that up properly. You can't just say things. Don't just that lure aren't real. in. <laughs> I just can't. No, say it says that. there the chronology. They had an album out in 98 and 99. What, and that's the last one? I swear on Spotify, me and Leanne saw. Mm. Mate, I was big on Steps as well. Steps? Steps. Mate, I can't even five, name six, one. Seven, eight. Yeah, five, oh. six, seven, eight. My boots, good and baby. is driving me crazy. What about S Club 7? What were we saying? Yeah, I was a big fan. Oh, my, my brother, um, aka Tom Kelly, who's normally behind the controls, he actually went to see S Club 7, supported by S Club Juniors. Amazing. What is that? Automatic. I I could not tell you a single. <laughs> is that S Club Juniors? Yeah. No, I could not. Because that's Rochelle, isn't it? That famous Rochelle Humes or whatever her name is. She was in S Club Juniors. Um, who's Rochelle Humes? She's, uh, she, I knew. She's the guy with that. She's the woman from. I don't know where she's from. She does loads of crap TV she shows. She does, because I know who you're on about. I just can't picture her. She's with that JLS fella, Marvin. Yeah. I do know who you mean. I just can't picture her yeah, or no. name anything that she's, she was in. I but. think she's really tall, but that's all I know. Yeah, a lot of them went on to do other things. Yeah, a lot of them had illustrious <laughs> careers <laughs> elsewhere. <laughs> well, this is going back to the 90s, isn't it, we're talking about. So like the yeah, biggest big girl group, I think we all know, was Spice Girls. Spice Girls, I yeah. this one. Yeah, Spice Girls. Yeah. Which one? Wanna be. Oh. What a song. Which one did you fancy the most? Um, uh, Ginger Spice. That's what started my whole obsession and love with, with redhead people. Mm? Mine okay. was always Ginger Spice back in the day. Yeah, mm-hmm. it was she's feisty and bullshit and like I don't know. Who e- who ever said sporty spice? No one, mate. Um, I want to say I don't know. I, I gay don't know anyone. People. <laughs> 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 gay sporty people. Yeah. Am I, I'm just insulting her there by calling. Like, I know. I think, I think I think like she w- I think she was actually a bit of an icon like in the gay and lesbian scene. Like genuinely, I think that was actually a thing. Really. Yeah, Mel City. I can Im- I can see that. I can imagine that. Um, I mean, to be honest, right? So you you choose your sides from when you were younger. But mm-hmm. I thought about this. Who, if you revisit it now, who would you fancy? Because I actually Victoria got Beckham. a little twinge over her as well. The Sporty Spies. Oh, ne- got like a little twinge af- over after her. that. Yeah, <laughs> like, like now, now I'd look at her as like, hang on, you could have turned out to be one of the best. Yeah, yeah. She started off bad. Yeah. Got better. Developed. A bit like life, really. Like yeah, but no, well, I, but I've I was always Victoria Beckham for me. Oh, well, the worst from the start. No, from the start you picked the worst one. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, but now, she, now, mate, she's like, I don't know where I see from her. Like, I, I was obsessed with Beckham. Be. I was obsessed with David. Okay, Beckham. I get that because so like, like he's a good-looking guy, and I really like yeah. him. He's talented. He's he's a nice guy. Yeah, I do like David Beckham. He's got a new Netflix show out or a little documentary. I, I was meant to watch it, but, <laughs> but, um, but I didn't. But I just didn't. <laughs> You, you know, I've got better things it. to do with my time. <laughs> I went outside. <laughs> there you go, guys. Hello, here we go. Okay, so back in the Spice day. Spice Girls, back in the day. Wow. I mean, I mean scary Spice is voluptuous. and look, see, the yeah, Victoria I... looks a bit chavvy. Yeah, she was a chavvy I mean, one. yeah, I mean, you have picked oh probably God. the worst photo I've, th- I've ever seen of the Spice Girls. Yeah, they all look like the cast of Rocky Horror right there. Yeah, they all look they like Madame do. Two Swords had burnt down. <laughs> <laughs> the face looks just like, melting looks and like dripping. <laughs> Wannabe, just in the background, like. This was the pinnacle of 90s fashion. Though, wasn't it? Which is kind of coming back a bit now. Do you think it's coming back? Yeah, at festivals this year, it was all crop yeah. tops and like um, the little clips but in your hair. And, like, oh, wow. Bones. Can I just say, I'm just going to go away from the mic. Yeah, that's stood out. That's yeah, she stood out just yeah. there. She's yeah, okay. And by Emma Bunton, like we have not even mentioned her. Emma Bunton. I just Emma think Bunton. she's vanilla. Yeah, but she's every now and again, like, you have a bit of chocolate, you have a bit of strawberry, <laughs> you want a bit of vanilla on your on your on your, uh, on your cone. Napoleon. <laughs> That's, a weird, That's a weird analogy. Go <laughs> full Napoleon. <laughs> yeah. What is the cone? Um, I I think I was insinuating my penis. Uh. I, was, <laughs> I think that's where it was going. <laughs> What's the weirdest word for penis? I've never heard it called a cone before. Well, I've been 
No, I don't, I've got no link there. I was going to make a weird pointy joke, but then no, people will think I've got a pointy penis. I mean, sex-wise, I, <laughs> I was on the college Exclusive. bus once, and we were like being laddie, like, oh, yeah, I'd like to bang her and all this. And then this guy out of nowhere at the front of the bus, really tall, stood up and like awkwardly looked at the window, like bang the window, and he was like, no, I'd like to feed her. <laughs> <laughs> trying to like join in with the pants and he was oh, just like no. really like feed her he was really like jizzing out he's like I'm not allowed to feed her oh no I would have had to sit down at that point <laughs> I just imagined him like throwing like corn feed at her like yeah I'm someone like some kind of farmyard animal yeah like, where, what world do we live in when an expression for having sex is that uh, I want to feed I want her. to feed her like a shire pony <laughs> to be fair maybe he was a feeder <laughs> maybe he Maybe, Maybe. They just didn't. Is it Chubby Chaser or whatever the weird name are for what, it? What? Are, no, feeders are like when uh, like uh, it's genuinely like f- thin yeah, yeah. guys like feed their yeah, girlfriend. Yeah. So even I've, vice versa. Mm. I mean, I've been accused of being a feeder before because <laughs> I love my food. Whoa, we <laughs> Why is that a big <laughs> thing? Why is that a big thing? I, it obviously, isn't. Carry on. Why well, is there is. I, I'm gonna. I'm gonna like interject here and Go kind on. of. There is like something. Because no, you, you, right, I, I get, I don't, I don't. <laughs> I'm not saying I'm a feeder for learning anything, but when, when she's enjoying something you've made, like cooked, you're like, oh yeah, that's really cool. Have some more. <laughs> 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 oh, did you like that plate? Have some fucking more then. Eat more. I'm watching you. Did you like that pasta? Have some mm. more. It's like force feeding, like they do like chickens in fucking <laughs> battery farms. <laughs> But I'm so full. <laughs> Please. Eat, eat until you can't move. I don't want to hear this. <laughs> it's not what I want to hear from you, is it? <laughs> is it you don't want to or you can't? Because <laughs> either way, it's happening. <laughs> Just do it now. Do it good. <laughs> if you had to eat a lot of one food, though, what would it be? Onion rings. Onion rings are good. But I hate it when you <sighs> bite into know. it and then the string, the oh, jelly right, like, yeah. string, it all comes out and you're left with the batter. Yeah. I went to a... Um, bar place in Nottingham Centre the other day for lunch. Where was it? Because I like Nottingham. Um, you know, um, South Bank City Bar. It's a new one. Um, it used to be... what There's one down near West Bridgeford, near the Trent Bridge area. Okay. But there's one, one actually just opened up in the centre. And the onion rings they do there are about 10 centimetre thick of batter. And oh. just... You bite into it and it just, like, melts. And, like, you get a little bit of grease on your chin and beard, but that's, you know, you pay for you that. You think you wow. could continuously eat that? 100%, yes. <laughs> well, do you go to no the fish and chip shop and I uh, like I order like say fish and chips, but then I also order scraps. Do you guys know what scraps is? Oh, yes. mate, I know. What scraps it's all the, like are. the flaky batter, mm. all it's just, it's just oil. pure oil. You're preaching to the choir here, boy. Hey, man, brother. <laughs> uh, I went last time. I went to a fish and chip shop. I ordered a large chips, standard. I ordered standard st- large, large batter sausage, standard, <laughs> standard. Holler to the fish chip world and yeah. a battered burger. I've never had one. Mate, never had one. A so burger. bad. So bad for you. Do you have it in the bun then or not? No, no, just literally the burger burger itself, the meat. Battered. battered. <laughs> just to pause it. You can put it in a bun if you want, but just on its own. I suppose why is that so odd when you have. Uh, it's not really that odd because you have battered sausage and there's. No. Yeah, you don't really. Uh, the, uh, when you first, like, it kind of. When you first said it, it gave me a knee jerk reaction like, what? Burger. Yeah, like, you Battered sick burger. Of, you fucking God, sick. Are you sick? sick? Are you sick, mate? Are you You're wrong? wrong. You come on but to yeah, our podcast but yeah. and say shit like that. <laughs> you fucking sick. You're a fucking giggle, mate. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry, no, no, see you later. <laughs> but like, I think that, but then I've got no problem with thinking that battered Mars bar's fine. Yeah, but has anyone actually ever had one? I've had one. I've had one. Oh, yeah, okay. Well, two out of the three. But I'll, anyway, lads, I'll, I'll get off. Yeah, here. I'll and like we say, mate, what are you doing there? <laughs> get out. They're actually qu- really good. Nah, I couldn't handle it. Like, one bite, I was like, mm, okay. <laughs> Second bite, <laughs> get this shit out of my mouth. <laughs> Fuck it, this mm. is wrong. Mm, okay. No, I enjoyed I'm it. I'm on board. <laughs> it, I well, you ate the whole thing? Yeah. I wouldn't choose to have it every day, like, if I had no. the choice. But I was like, no, it's fine. It's, you know. It's okay. just, did you do, like, that heavy breathe thing, like, afterwards, like, half an hour after, where you're like... <sighs> Just, just dying under your own weight. <laughs> yeah, just like like you've been drinking Pepsi Max like all your life. And you, you know, <laughs> like my brother on the way down today, it was like, are you right, mate? I was like, well, actually, I was driving and we got 10 minutes down the road and my brother was like, can you drive? I'm pretty knackered today. So I was like, yeah, I'll drive. So I got like 10 minutes down the road and he was asleep, what I thought. Then he woke up and went, are you right, Rob? I was like, yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> you were asleep for like two seconds. Why? He was like, you're breathing heavy. I was like, he was like, I thought you might be falling asleep. I was like, no, mate, you're the one sleeping. You're breathing a <laughs> bit. But it's like, no, Rob, you were literally just like concentrating and going. <sighs> yeah, well, 
This, oh, man, a big th- this yeah. man over here is a full. When he's concentrating on anything, he's a proper mouth Who, breather. David. David they call me Darth Vader whenever I like. Really? Mate, I mean, I d- have noticed. Countless, but... countless <laughs> hours. Never told me. Countless <laughs> hours. I've been sat in the same room, as, like playing games or doing whatever, and then you just hear. <sighs> That's like, too much fucking like, sugar. That is. It's it? like Dave. You're all right, mate. He goes. Yeah, yeah. I'm just concentrating, mate. Concentrate. No, it sounds like you're having an asthma attack, actually, mate. <laughs> yeah, no. <I'm> just, <laughs> yeah, no. I'm just laying in the truck. I'm layering it. I've got it going through sound. Good. Yeah. <sighs> It's like, chill out, mate. You're doing me. You're getting me. You're, I'm on edge. I'm on fucking edge, <laughs> To be fair, you say it's too much sugar, Rob, but I have just been tested for diabetes and I'm all clear. Lies. <laughs> I'm in the clear, boys. That's bullshit. Clear. I demand a retest. <laughs> I demand a retest. <laughs> no, I went to have uh, my blood taken, like, uh, what, one and, a bit, one and a bit weeks ago? Mm. That's mad that you haven't got diabetes. What do you re- <laughs> Hang on. Whoa. God, what? you should have that by now. <laughs> Mate, I've never seen anyone like drink so much pop and eat so much sugar. To be fair, I'm on sugar-free stuff. Like, I mean, I, I try don't... to make these choices. I mean, guys, I might be a bit stupid here, but mm-hmm. I don't really understand diabetes because I thought it was the lack of sugar because when you're diabetic, you need more sugar. Dr. Jake Kelly, over to you. Um, I don't know. <laughs> do you know what I'm saying, though? I honestly... My mum has I it, thought so it'd be a like lack of sugar... So uh, is, is it people say you, you're going to get diabetes, you have t- you were eating too much sugar. I, th- but I, I thought it was that your body produced too much and then you needed penicillin to like chill it out. But I, I, don't, I have no well, idea. Well, my mate's know. diabetic and um, well, just ask, at, get Glastonbury, at Glastonbury, he started going all weird and we had mm. to like get the staff to get him um, like a full sugar relentless or a monster and he had to down two of them. He got yeah. back to his level. Maybe it's the difference between type A and Might type be. B. I, honestly, I'm, I feel... I'm reading up, like, uh, <laughs> explain it like I'm five diabetes, but it's a mm-hmm. whole paragraph. I'm not getting no, into okay. this. No, whatever it is, it's bad and should be taken seriously. It should. I mean, my friend, who's, like, probably the funniest... My mum has it. That's why I had it tested, sorry. Yeah, I mean, that makes sense. I, oh, I understand Suzanne. why. Like, How is Suzanne? She's all right. She's all right. We'll get her on in a bit. She's got any funny stories? Here she is, now. <laughs> Here she comes. <laughs> <laughs> all from it. under the table. Followed by... <laughs> yeah. Well, we were... David, David! Another little secret. <laughs> Carry on with your point anyway, your friend. Yeah, your friend's got diabetes. No, she hasn't got diabetes. Oh, shout out. Oh, no. Th- <laughs> <laughs> shout out. <laughs> Pick up the type A massive. <laughs> type A? Yeah, my, my boy's Type A, isn't it? Type 2. Type A, type B. Type 2, type 1, isn't it? Mate, no, I thought it was AB. Honestly, no, it's mate. type 2 and type 1 diabetes. Type A, type B. And I can't even remember what type. It's type 2 diabetes. It's uh, not type I, B diabetes. I have heard it? it referred to as A and B, though. Type A, type B. Oh, I don't fucking know. Anyway, Rob. Anyway, uh, yeah, uh, what I was saying was, um, yeah, Lauren Willoughby, who's like my oldest friend, um, mm-hmm. she said one day, because she just loves pop and just <laughs> eats all that kind of stuff and drinks all pop constantly, she was like, diabetes... <laughs> It's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when. <laughs> <laughs> That's oh, the mate. Quote ever. Yeah, I like and it's that. the way I she like said that. it as well. She just cracks me off. I love that girl. Mate, yeah. but I'm I'm all in the clear though. Oh, right, that's, cool. that's good about mate. me. But my mum, yeah, my mum didn't. My mum's got the less serious one, so she doesn't take insulin. Type A. So insulin's like, but my friend at work, <laughs> type type A. Is my friend a? at work though, um, you might know him. Oh, go on. Oh God, I can't even remember his name. Oh. He's got a real bad diabetes. Oh, is he? Mm. Oh, bless him. I mean, it's not to be laughed at. Um, no, no, no. He's got the ty- he's got the proper bad one. I think it's type one. Type it's one is the real bad one. A. I think. Type A. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm pretty sure. I'm certain. Type one is the type one diabetes is the not so an all right one. Type two is the worst one. Well, just oh, right. in Google now, just type type in diabetes type, type A and see if it comes up as just a put thing. type and see or what it's auto correct. Yeah, see what auto correct. And I bet it comes up with all four. To be fair, what's the worst type of diabetes? That's awful, by the way. Awful? Mm. What, your new can of Relentless? New, mm. what is it? Purple Passion, purple passion punch. punch. Well, you were raving about this apple one mm. before, weren't you? Talking of diabetes. Yeah. <laughs> Glugging <laughs> on sugar over it. Yeah. It's li- <laughs> sorry. That's absolute that, sugar. My friend at work's got it. It's Lee Womack. He just... Do you know that he had that, by the way? He Lee just Womack. literally... This is the oh, story, yeah, yeah, yeah. right? Sorry, I know Womack. This yeah. is the story, right? He, he literally didn't turn up for... I think uh, to work for a, like couple of months. Oh, was that after he came back from India? No, 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 no. Or was no. that just another That's case he was off case. for like weeks? He, he just literally like uh, was off for like, I'd say, I want to say two or three months and no one knew what was going on. And I think we found halfway through that he just like was at a party and he felt like he was, he said, because I asked him about all of it afterwards and he said he felt like he was drunk and the doctor, and then he just like 
woke up. He was like walking around his house, and then all of a sudden he woke up in like the really what's the bad part of hospital intensive care. Oh, intensive. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's and uh, that's yeah, bad. and he was like on the he was like, what am I doing here? Because he felt really bad. He felt like he was pissed, but he didn't have any because he was out. Uh, on a night out but it didn't feel like he felt oh probably just a bit drunk yeah. then he ended up collapsing anyway is this real before bad he knew he had diabetes yeah he went oh, under right. the radar he didn't even eat Shit. bad and in the fact, doctors he's, he's very healthy that's yeah right. that's what I thought yeah, right? Like and, and, and it went under the radar for so long and the doctor said that his blood was literally like syrup Shit. oh my yeah. god and he was on like the verge of dying but now he has to take like insulin pen. he has to proper like do the whole deal like oh, he gets dude. his insulin now we make fun of him Oh, yeah, Alright, yeah. there he is. It's there slim. Is. Bloody hell, don't <laughs> eat that pack of arrow, mate. You'll die. But, Ooh, that, <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, that's, but that's strange that's how like my friend has to eat sh- uh, loads yeah, of sweets and sugar. Yeah. So it must be two different types. It must be. Mm. People are probably like shouting in the cars and the vans listening to us like, oh my God, it's so simple. Yeah. That's why when he said Dr. Kelly, I was like, I'm out. I don't know. <laughs> but honest. we got you in because you're a doctor. We oh thought we were yeah. going to have uh, intellectual conversations. I couldn't be further medicine. from a doctor in my <laughs> entire life. I think we should like get people to ring in well, we all and know. just ask Jake questions yeah. and make out like he's a doctor. Mm-hmm. Well, we know an actual doctor. Well, oh, junior yeah. doctor. Yeah. We, well, we should ring him live. Coddy. Well, Coddy, yeah. Should we ring him? A doctor. Um, yeah, Robert. ring him and ask him about the diabetes thing. <gasps> Ooh. I'm actually excited. I'm excited to get the first phone call on the Yucca Duck podcast on the go. Depends gonna, are you doing it? Will he answer? I don't yeah. know. Get it on loudspeaker and put it next to the uh, microphone, Dave. Yeah, well, we'll do. do we have to pay him for like consultation or do you think he'll do it on He'll do us? a freebie. Yeah. First one's free. Well, they get you in like Netflix. <laughs> first did, month He didn't free. do my prostate for free. <laughs> That's a different show. Yeah. I know a friend will do it for free. <laughs> Here we go. Yeah, we can, yeah. Yeah, we can. Hello. Hello. Hello, Coddy. Hello. You know who this yes, is, don't Dave. you? You know who this is? This is David. Yeah, yeah, it's Dave. Hello, how are you? Good. Good. Am I being recorded? Yeah, <laughs> how do you know that? You're live That's on the... Because I saw Jake post it on Facebook. Yeah, you're live, you're live on the podcast, <laughs> mate. Just... We need you. Oh. We need you. We're literally talking about uh, diabetes, and we know you're a uh, qualified medical doctor. <laughs> Junior doctor. What, yeah. what is your, what's your actual title? Is it... Doctor Ralph uh, F two, F two. We well, just want we just foundation year two, or like I'm locoming, so I'm technically probably a foundation year three. <laughs> oh, nice. Basically, well, can you quickly just tell us, Cody? We're, we're discussing diabetes. Which is the worst one for starters? Type... Um, it, it depends what you because there's type one is where your uh-huh. pancreas doesn't make any insulin. Yeah. So insulin's the thing that controls that, like basically stops the sugar going too high yeah. in your bloodstream. Um, if that doesn't work, that's, that tends to come on when you're a kid. Type 2 is generally the one that's a lot more common. That's when people get either sort of like Generally, it's the obese people. Oh, so type 2 is the worst it. one. Yeah, well, it's, I don't know, because type 1, you have to have insulin. Yeah. But, um, type 2 is the one that like is much more common. So which is one where you have to keep My mom has sugar diets. and stuff? Yeah, so the, Rob said this. Like, Which is the one where you have to... like? Some people have to drink sugar to keep it under wraps, and some people have to t- not have... No, wait, I think you have to have sugar to make it spike back up, isn't it, sugar levels? Because you drop... Yeah, yeah, ba- it basically just if it goes too low, you have to have some sugar. If it goes too high, you're eating too much. Oh. oh. This, this is, is basic, mm. simple flipping... Can you ask him if there is a it's type A and B? It's quite interesting, though. Is it, we, we was discussing, we was like, is there a twi- type A and B, or is it just type 1 and 2 diabetes? It's 1 and 2, yeah. yeah. that's what I thought. So yeah. there's oh, no right. A and B at no, all? No A and B. Oh, okay. Well, I stand, oh, right. I stand corrected. I st- all right, I well, thank you, uh, Dr. Coddy. Thank you, Coddy. That was awesome. Well, thanks for clearing that up, mate. Yeah, thanks for being on the show. No, no, thanks for having me. Pleasure. Oh, okay, so fantastic. Well, well we're gonna we'll we'll call it the Coddy Clinic and we'll <laughs> ring it. <laughs> this could be a feature once <laughs> this a week. This could be a feature <laughs> once a week and we'll uh, we'll we'll call him with our problems. Next week is chlamydia. <laughs> <laughs> Next week I've got a wart on my just, penis. Just check that I'm not at work. <laughs> okay. Okay, <laughs> I love you, Coddy. Cheers. Cheers, mate. Bye bye. Bye. That was oh, incredible. Mate, honestly, what a way to clear it up. I was just sat here like Taking that in, like I'm it was a we're on a podcast. Man. Yeah, we're actually we're talking about something scientific, something yeah. like medical, and it's like we know a doctor. 
and we get him on the blow, and he says, "Yeah, this is about the pancreatic levels." And it's that like, was what amazing. A lad. I mean, that's a clip in itself. I would love to watch that back again. Yeah. I mean, the audio sounded amazing. Yeah, it? no, that, so that came I think through really well. I think ringing people to clarify cl- clarify things yeah, yeah, is yeah. a must. To yeah, be honest. yeah, yeah. I'm gonna like put random facts out that I'm not sure on, just so we can call people. Yeah, just well, so we can tie this up. To be fair, how many cool people do we know though? That's it. <laughs> yeah, I'll be honest. We've I'm exhausted our <laughs> phone list. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> I, I said Coddy, and that's my brother's friend, so I'm really desperate <laughs> at that point. <laughs> What's the most, like, medical... Oh, I'm trying to think of like, the most uh, qualified person you know. I think Coddy's... What, in their f- what doc- most qualified in their field, sort of Yeah, in, like, friend you know. I'm trying to I think. Know Does somebody. anybody know helicopter pilots? No. 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 Actually, my cousin... Oh, hello. ...designs nuclear warheads. No. Hang on. And it's looking. your cousin, Kim Jong Un. <laughs> <laughs> Kim Jong Un Swain. No, yeah, it's bizarre. Like he was always into like airplanes and like, uh, like, f- like playing in like fighter jet computer games and stuff like that. And he always said he wants to like make airplanes and be in aerodynamics and stuff. He went to uni, studied it, then went and got his masters, and then he had like an uh, internship. Um, designing planes and missiles and stuff like that and then they took him on board he gets paid a chunk of money I mean uh, to be fair I think he's only like 21 22 22 fair play, fair play. Fair and play yeah time. last time I saw him was the first time in years so I was talking to him about it and he, he's like he goes to like I don't know if you saw the um, the night watchman no night the night's watch. night manager the night manager the series no. about no. arms deals and stuff like that it was on BBC it was All quite right. big not long ago it sounds good Anyway, um, there was a scene on that where they, they were buying um, missiles and stuff like that, but they were at night and they were like blowing up missiles in in the distance and people were buying and bidding on them and they were just like these crazy stuff. He explained that he goes to these like bombing sites and they like sit and watch and see how they blow up and stuff like that. Like, So he's then wrapped in this really interesting world of missiles. I wouldn't would be anywhere near that fucking blast zone. Yeah, but you say that, but they used to do that at... Um down near North Sea Camp, all on the banks there. Oh, they really? used to do bombing runs. Like what, you on about like down near Frisney and yeah, stuff yeah, like yeah. that? Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, they used to drive down there and you used to find dummy, yeah, like yeah. rubber like dummy bombs and, and stuff yeah, yeah. like that. Yeah, I mean... Uh, you used you to know. see it like flashes like every now and again. Jake knows my fear of that air horn. That yeah, one. you know the air raid Oh, that's scary. It's a bit like Silent the Hill that. or something. Though. I yeah, hate like that. Freak. Well, they used it for the flood warnings, don't they? Yeah. And... um like if it was ever like a Dave's or mine, then that would go off. Dave would freak out. I hate like, it. Creepy like like end of it. the world freak out. I'd hate that so much. Um, just talking about Kim. You know how I say Kim Jong Un. <laughs> yeah, go it on. made me go down a road because I thought, oh my god, I need to bring this up. Um, I I don't know where where I heard this on a podcast or something. Bring this up, but um, you seen that North Korea are banning sarcasm? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I saw yeah. this. But I also <laughs> right, okay, yeah. Uh, I've got something to say about this. North Korea bans sarcasm because Kim Jong-un fears people only agree with him. Ironically. Ironically. Right, I watched a documentary (laughs) three days ago (laughs) that was all about this, and they went into North Korea and were talking to people and stuff like that. And actually, they said that the westernized view and articles like this are kind of made up and also to laugh and poke fun at them and to kind of like because they so are so protected by their own like stuff like you don't know really what goes on in there no, in no that country so because of that we can make up these like hilarious headlines mm. and they won't really know or see or say anything about it and it's become a character like a comedy character of itself yeah, it's like a caricature of itself. it is so yeah i mean in yeah the stories like this back it up like did he does he? Has he done this? Because it would be it hilarious sounds, if he did. It sounds far too bizarre to be even true. There's loads of them, like, he kills his right-hand man for not laughing at his joke and stuff like that. Mm. Or, like, tortures people because it's they like, don't um, like the same food. like World War One and World War, like, propaganda. Like, yeah. Stories made up to just make it, each other look like idiots, basically. Yeah. And it's, it says there, uh, a fool who cannot see the outside world. It's like, that's how we view him. Like he he doesn't have any sense of realism because everyone does does what they what he wants. Yeah, to do. exactly. I mean, it's so is unified. Uh, unified. <laughs> it's all unified. unified. <laughs> it's all unified. And I mean, the footage that I was um, watching and stuff, it was like so clinical and not very. Say, like we can go out in the outside world and feel really inspired. Mm. Everything was blue, white, uniformed, and very clinical. So probably to stop. Um, imaginative thinking and thinking outside the box 
is 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 probably just to really rein you in and yeah, stop yeah, expanded thinking. Man, that's deep. Like, yeah, that's like. Have you have you seen? <laughs> that's like, that's like oh, fuck, he's, re- he's, yeah. he's actually right. Have yeah. you seen this? <laughs> <laughs> more, more Jake, more so than Rob. Because I think mm. Rob, you've um, you've probably heard this, but have you seen these um, fake shops, Jake, in North Korea that they have? I haven't seen this fake shops. Yeah, like th- these are legit a thing, right? Um, sorry, they. I've heard that they have these fake shops in the, where nothing is real. Like all the fruit is not real. What, even inside in North Korea, like even inside, oh, it's a roller coaster. It's really weird, and they just put them up. I don't think. I think it's North Korea. I know there's a artist who has done an installation very similar to that in London, where everything was like cross stitched. Like the whole shop oh, cool. was all like stitched. That's oh, really cool. Cool. Um, I I didn't know about North Korea. Yeah, apparently fake, they fake have shops. like a fake shops down the road because they want to make the outsiders think it's a nice, beautiful, fantastic. Do place. you reckon that's true then, or is it again been twisted? I don't is know, it actually mate. like maybe it's just like a plastic model buy-in shop? Apparently, like <laughs> there's some shops where fruit's like a prop not fake. shop. Yeah, prop shop. Maybe it's just a prop shop, Dave. Yeah, stop picking on the prop shops, man. Like where else are you gonna get your props from? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Th- I think North Korea, they know what they're they know what they're doing. We yeah. don't. They're, they're probably freaking us out on purpose. Yeah, they're probably just Kim Jong's going there. Yeah. You see that one about the sarcasm? Hey, got out, <laughs> didn't it? Yeah. Well, whatever happened to what was it called the uh, the Seth Rogen movie? That was a big controversy. Uh, about the that. interview. It, the interview. Mm. Yeah, it died down. No, it did die down, and then it? it came out. And it came out and it's nothing like, happened. Don't bring it out. Uh, no, or they else. had to change a scene, didn't they? They cut a scene out or changed it. Because he was blown up in a helicopter, Kim Jong Un, I think. He was blown up in a helicopter. I think it was Kim Jong Il at that point. Un's quite new, isn't he? Is I'm not so really no. down with my I'm King Jong I said it. I said it. I'm not sure. But you might be right. Can we? Let's get Kim Jong Un on the phone now. Uh, David? I actually got him on my phone. Have you? <laughs> Where yeah. did you meet? What, where did you meet? Yeah, where, where did not, you meet? Was in, is it North Korea or South Korea? I it can't never Definitely remember. North. Definitely North. They so made him in flares. It's north of the uh, yeah. world. <laughs> in flares. I'm off to North Korea. I'm off to North Korea. North of the world. Take a raven. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Generic Yorkshire accent, yeah. aka Game of Thrones. Yeah, but you can't. I can do quite a good uh, John Snow. Oh. Go on then. Go on. A bit of reverb. A bit of reverb. Go on then, do it again. It's North of the world. That's it's his like the what? Sorry, I, I <laughs> thought you'd finished. Go again, David. I'm uh, sorry. No, 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 I'm fine. Okay, I've, I've, had my I've, moment. Got, I've got one. Go on then. Go on. We got guess. Actually, no. Well, that's I'll just do oh. it. It's a Game of Thrones one. Okay. Go on then. Go oh, on. Oh, Go on. Oh. <laughs> Where's my reverb? Hold on. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna throw you off and then just go like. I just do something weird, but anyway. oh, right, I'm gonna do a proper one. Go on. Jon Snow, bastard son of Ned Stark. <laughs> hey! Yeah, go on. Yeah. Who is that? Uh, just some bearded guy who says that <laughs> all the time. That's uh, <laughs> extra four from the uh, second episode of season four, I believe. You could get was. away with that. You knew it. I got it. I know. I don't remember. Um, I remember. Go on, then. Make your turn. Um, I've got one. Go okay, on, you ready? Get the echo on for my boy. Oh, I'm out of curry. I'm shitting with a power of a thousand iron balls. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's any, anybody. I like it. Anybody. I've got one more. Can I do one more? Yeah, mate. Okay. You ready? Three, two, one. Is it on? Yeah, yeah we got it. <laughs> I want to touch your bone, Jon Snow. <laughs> I want to touch it real long and, and put it in my mouth, Jon Snow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm guessing that's, uh, I can't remember a name. I want to feel you're born, John Snow. That's that, the wild. That it was the redhead. Yeah. You know, actually, weird link. Them two are actually together in real life. Are they really? I'm like, not surprised. Har- Kit Harrington and Kit Kit Harrington Harrington good looking is a couple. Sexy mm. man. Yeah, yeah. I give it. Cats. Cat, I was gonna say cats. Taka. Hello, Tucker. Here he is. We're oh my boy. Away. Your holiday looked insane, by the way. Thank you. Very yeah, look. Looked incredible. Thank you very much. <laughs> Jealous. We're all good, man. Uh, Taki, we have to. The no- has anybody ever heard a noise of a blowfish? By the way. We're no. going to have to. When I'm going to pull that video off you. We'll do it on like next week's podcast, but it's hilarious. I want to hear it. You said it sounds like a pig. Have you ever heard one of those? Um, uh, you ever had like a dog toy? Yeah, yeah. The hollow one's like, oh, 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 like one of those. <laughs> no. no. Uh, Take that back, mate. <laughs> I think it's broken. All right, do you know, to be fair, just talk about yourself. I want to get the noise of a bloke. Getting, what so is uh, it called? Pufferfish. Noise. So how are you? Uh, how are you doing, Rob? 
over this side of the desk. Yeah. I'm feeling groovy, actually. Do you know what? I actually, when I, like, when I was driving down here, I was like, God, you know, I don't know what I'm going to... I don't, I'm going to feel so out of place. I don't, I've never been on a podcast before. Yeah. And it's actually it's vibes, fun. isn't it's it? Do so you know what? Like, once you get the first five minutes over and done with, it's when you get the headphones on. Like, if you took the headphones off now, I can't. It throws like, me. Like, it feels like I've got my headphones off right now. Yeah, I'm going to do it. Go on, take them off. Yeah. It feels so weird, doesn't it? it I don't think I could concentrate. I don't as feel much. like I'm talking to you. No, it doesn't. Until this is very it weird. It feels really. No bizarre. one can tell if you're if, obviously if you're a listener via the many podcast apps. Yes. And um, you can't tell what we're doing, but we are taking all our headphones off in a weird experiment. <laughs> yeah, like <laughs> just staring into each other's eyes while taking a headphones. But no, it, it feels so much like. Normal. But you do get in the zone. You can easily see how like two hours tick by. Oh, or mate, an hour and a mate. half. So yeah, I just looked at the time. Well, my and phone now, up, I was like, wow, like okay. the. Um, the first couple of podcasts we were always putting up videos and mm-hmm. like a lot of like 10 minutes at a time or 5 minutes at a time we're getting eaten up by that but you don't need to you can talk for hours Mate. it's bizarre that's the thing about Got podcasts it. as well I know we bang on about it but it's just so loose and so nice mm. yeah it's really loosey and goosey you we're get loosey up. goosey um, do, you, do you know what I thought the other day Dave like because we always do this after work we but all drive an hour to here then we, we eat into like the evenings and like towards 9 o'clock like I thought if we did like a Saturday lunchtime, how much energy and how much different it might actually come across. It's like we'll probably be able to get like a th- solid three hour one, and God knows what we'll get onto or what ridiculous w- things we'd talk it about. It would just be ridiculous. I don't know whether I could talk for three hours, but maybe. Oh, fucking hell, I could. <laughs> you could. You could. <laughs> You could chew on for three hours. Why me open and let but me I've go? I've got a, uh, I've got a noise of a puff fish here. I hope this is good. Why, I could, I why wouldn't he? There you go. Right on the ah. lip there. Look at those little spikes mm. he's got on his belly. Yeah, you're hurting. <laughs> That's all. We can't see anything, so this is just weird. <laughs> I can see it. That's the you get a picture? I got a video. It sounds really dirty. Oh, I got a it video. Sounds weird and dirty. <laughs> if Want you just a picture? <laughs> I got a video. <laughs> I'll be honest, what we're listening to there is the sound of an animal drowning. Effectively, yeah. On, to be on, fair, yeah. put me back in the water. <laughs> we are <laughs> put his words. Put me back in the water. Every noise you heard, my it was family is going. What's that? What's that? What's that? We, we was listening to an animal die. Then we were. It's like you've ripped me away from my children and my wife, my world. You've <laughs> took me out of my world. Oh, that is so weird. Yeah, for that's a fish dark. getting ripped. Getting we don't literally. Do you ever think about this, Jake? Like a fish ugh. getting ripped out of its world. Uh, it is because he knows just nothing just more swimming than a, that. Swimming along and he sees this little morsel in front of him. He's like, oh, food. Oh, I'm a bit peckish actually. I'll, I'll talk into this maggot. Oh, the fucking hell was that? And <laughs> <he's> like, <laughs> in the space, <laughs> in, it's like us. It's like us sitting down eating dinner. No, no. In the going space into of a, a Chinese. Go in, walking yeah, into yeah, a right, Chinese restaurant, <laughs> getting them handing over the plastic bag with all your food yeah. in. Th- thanks, Lee. Thank you. Thanks, Thank thanks you. Very much. They're and getting ripped. <laughs> <laughs> You can't breathe. You've got like some giant. You're, un- you're underwater. Man. You're underwater for some reason. Your vision's blurred. You've got some giant alien thing which you can't make out. Like, looking at you, putting you oh in some form God. of bag, putting Imagine something down that. your throat to get the hook. And there's out. Hun- there's probably like ten other humans that with different <laughs> Indian takeaway, a Chinese takeaway, fish and chips, and they're all like, "Help <laughs> me!" This has just gone Stranger <laughs> Things, and this has gone upside down world. Yeah. Well, um, to be fair though, do you think in fantastic fi- concept? That was. Imagine, oh, yeah. like, yeah. I want to. Uh, this is going to sound really oh, stupid. It, he wants to say, I want to be a fish one. No, day. no, no, no. <laughs> Do you want to be a fish, David? In fish culture. Oh. Fish culture. <laughs> yeah, that's the new uh, fish and chip <laughs> shop me on out. the road. Fish Hear me culture. Out. Go, Hear on, me go out. on, go on, go on. In fish culture, like, obviously, fish have been around for millions of years. Mm-hmm. I, I reckon they're used to being. Like ripped, like it's go- it's it's kind of like agreed upon. All the fish are like, yeah, every now and again. It's like if the fish ah. was to communicate, ah. they'd be like, yeah, every now and again, you're just gonna get ripped out of the water. So they kind I of know it happens. Like humans know that they give birth. Like at one time in your life, you are gonna. It's probably not the same because I mean, everyone can. Birth. I honestly don't think that fish have been conditioned over millions of years to go. Yeah, you might get a knock in your mouth every now and again. Don't matter, does it? Just get back in the water. I don't, I don't think. know. I kind of know where you're coming from. Like on Toy Story, like the claw. <laughs> like they Ooh. know every now and then the claw. Yeah, but that, that is also a Pixar film. Is not it not real? It's not a documentary? 
No, I don't. I don't. I, I don't think they're like. Do they conditioned even, for that? Do they even? Because I haven't watched Nemo for a long time. But they, do they even brush upon that on Nemo? That sometimes you're gonna get ripped out. But then no, again, it was the sea. Oh, it was it? the it nets. Like... They had nets. Mm. They? Huge nets. I honestly, I don't think I've seen it. To be honest. Yeah, no, they have divers, and they're like, oh, these things jump into the water and sometimes skew you away. I think. Yes. So but no, yeah, I, I, I don't think they've been conditioned to... I don't think they have the, the thought process ability to think of that. No, they don't. I don't think they have got the mental capacity. To I don't think they have the cognitive to ability that. to think of that. There we go. Is that a myth that they can only... I heard when I was younger, they... Um, Goldfish have a three-second memory or something. Yeah. Is that a myth? I, I don't think it... I don't think it's real, but... What, the go- about goldfish? I think it's like one of those common misconceptions that goldfish... Have a three-second memory. I think it, I don't. I think it's longer. I think a fish you can recognise its owner. I've heard that before. A fish recognise it like swims to the tank and they're like, all right. And you drop some food and it goes. I don't. Cheers up. I reckon. I don't think they'll recognise the end. I think they recognise that there's a shadow coming over the bowl and that that shadow equals food. I don't doubt that. Yeah. <laughs> 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 totally blew your theory. Oh <laughs> look. I loved him, all right? I, yeah. He knew what it was. Do you know what? I cried. I, I literally spoke about this like a couple of days ago um, at uni, my first or second year at uni. Um, me and Laura bought a fish bowl for a house and we bought two goldfish. One was called Hollywood, which she named Hollywood, and I named mine Bear Grills. We loved them fish. <laughs> <laughs> I just like the names. <laughs> it's great names, yeah. isn't it? Full, full we marks. loved them fish. And then one day I was at home, uh, meant to be studying, but I wasn't. And. Um, Laura was at uni and they died and I bawled my eyes out. What about fish? About two fish, Bear Grylls and Hollywood. Mm. I bawled my eyes out. And actually, another really funny, funny fish story and uni story. Before I met Laura, she she was a year um, above me, so um, she was in her first year of uni, showing like student halls and stuff with her friend. And um, they were changing the fish bowls. So they rinsed it out, um, put the fish in a separate bowl, had the bowl, turned the tap on, filled it up, put it at the side, then chuck the fish back in, like you normally would change a bowl. Yeah, yeah. And then they started flapping out and almost bubbling. And she was like, why are the fish being weird? And then she dipped her hand in and it was scalding water. Oh, no. So do you know, like, um, some taps you get are, like, absolutely boiling hot, yeah, aren't they? Yeah. They'd used the wrong tap and boiled oh, up the flat no. fish. <gasps> did they Did they go? Yeah, they died. Was at the end of them? Yeah, well, yeah. Yeah, so you boiled them. <laughs> you boiled them. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Man, that's actually horrific. It is so really I'm bad. I'm just going to clean out the fish. Oh, what's that smell? Oh, they're dead. Brilliant. Dead fish. I don't get fish as pets. I think mm. it's good, like, it's probably like a starting point. It's it? like, I always thought of fish as, like, just exactly what you said, like a student pet. Because you can't have, like, a cat or a dog. No. Like, roaming about halls of residence, like... Oh, God, the thing will be dead within yeah. hours. So, like, a fish, you're like, you wake up at, like, one in the afternoon, you give it food, and then you see it again the next day. Yeah. If you can't look after a fish, like Rob was saying, like, it's a great starter pet. If you can't yeah, look yeah. after a fish, that's, gr- that's a great point. You're not really ready... To for look the hamster. <laughs> 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 in, levels, for the hamster. in levels, what does it go? It goes fish. No, it goes stick insects, because they hide them first. Sea monkeys. It goes sea <laughs> monkeys. <laughs> stick insects. Stick insects? Yeah. Oh, did, did you have one? Absolutely I had a tank and they bred. bred. They bred and bred and bred and bred. And mum was like, oh my God, Rob, you've got like 200 stick insects in this tank and it stinks. What the fuck? <laughs> so yeah, there's stick insects. Amazing. Then goldfish. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'm with then hamster. Life. Then hamster. What about a gerbil? Where is that? Is that on the level? That's one up from a hamster. Because they're a bit lively, aren't they? They're a bit more lively. Yeah, yeah, I get that. Lively in the cheeks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then where, what are we saying after that? I'm going to go for chinchilla. Nah, I think that's further up the scale, actually, because they're proper lively. They're real lively. Mm, fast. The ferrets. We went to school, primary school, with someone who kept chinchillas. I won't say any names, because I... Be honest, I can't really remember it, but she kept chinchillas. I can't really think what uh, did chinchillas like the bigger type of hamster. It looks like, yeah, it looks like a big hamster on roids, and they just bez about like real fast. Because like, have you seen fast. the mini hamsters? I think they're the Chinese they're ones, the Russian dwarfs or something like Russian that. Russian dwarf hamsters, they yeah, are yeah. so cute. They're literally I, like I had two Russian dwarfs. One was called Salt, and one was called Pepper. Oh, that's cute. But you can't guess what color they were. One was one black and one was white. Yeah, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, you can name it what you want. Salt and pepper. Uh, please, I want to call it salt and pepper. Yeah, they went to the um, 
vets to get their nails trimmed mm. and they both died. You're joking. No. That's awful. I don't actually, thinking about it. So the vet killed them? Well, do you know what? I'm just thinking now. Did they just die and that's what my mum and dad said? Or did it, what was that real? I, don't, I can't remember That's now. not a real story. They didn't go and get their toenails They trimmed, definitely they? went. Oh, oh well, they did go. Did they go? Did you see them go? I'll be honest, mate. I was probably about eight or nine. Shit, something happened to them. Fuck. I've been lied to my whole life. Honestly, I don't That's think they would have gone and trimmed a dwarf hamster and then it would have died getting its nails clipped. <laughs> <laughs> Do you? I'll I be, think that was I'll a whole story there, I'll dude. be honest. Now, you, now I've said it, I think it was all a sham. Right. Ne- next time Let's you get Jed, parents, get Jed on the phone right now. Literally ask them and then gauge the eye contact and to see if they act fishy because I think there's something fishy going on there. I, I do I, think something fishy is going on there. Fishy? Yeah. I do think something... I think I've been lied to my whole life. I think you may have been. Me. I really yeah, to be fair, my parents told me that um, my rabbit went to go see Grandad. And for years I was like... Ugh. Like even two years afterwards I was like... but. Granddad's dead, so like, <laughs> how? how? <laughs> Figuring it out until like I think it's two years. I was like, oh yeah, no. Ah, uh, no, he's now. now he's yeah, now oh. he's gone to see Granddad. To be fair, that, just gone. That was last. That's last week. He realised. <laughs> yeah, that was last week. I was like, shit. It all clicked. <laughs> Went, shit, Granddad's, Granddad's been dead fifteen years. <laughs> Bless the him. hamsters and Granddad. That's one of, <laughs> one of the first times I've ever oh seen. Oh my! One of the first times I've ever seen my dad genuinely cry is when our dog died. Oh, rest in peace, Barney. Yeah, but that's yeah. not unusual because, like, you build up such a bond with dogs. Yeah, no, yeah. it's unusual to see my dad not cry. Oh, okay. yeah. I was like, oh my lord, that would throw me because Brizzo is like a stone it's wall. He's a stone wall. A I've man never of, seen a man that. of no emotion. I think that's the only time I've ever seen him mm, twice. Twice I've seen him cry, and one of those times his dog died. Mm. I'd probably cry. If, well, no, I definitely. Well, I cry like one once a week at least. <laughs> yeah, just in general. Just what was the last thing you cried over? Uh, to be honest, I've said that I can't remember. Uh, what was the last thing I cried? You are over? quite emotional and weepy person. I I can remember the last thing I cried at. What was it? What was I was it? watching the top ten of um, the Voice UK auditions. Yeah, and you know the uh, <laughs> Jazz <laughs> Elli- Jazz Ellington. There's a uh, the voice. Yeah, this is a voice. And not um, even fucking X Factor. No, no, or no. Or and. Uh, this guy called Jazz Ellington did a um, cover of Ordinary People and Will I Am started crying and then Jesse J started crying. I was gone. And fully, it set you off. Fully gone. I was like, this is emotional. I don't even know why. I sat there. It was about two o'clock in the morning. I was like, oh, I'm going to bed. I've had enough now. I kind of get that though. Um, those kind of programs know how to talk on the heart. Oh, mate. Is that, yeah, yeah. That, that, made, that, that segment was made to make people cry. Yeah. And I mean, same with The X Factor. Like, I watched The X Factor the other day and they just know if I, if I wanted to just go and <laughs> my eyes out you could Thanks because right, they build it up like a sad story show them in the home show them with the kids blah 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 I, I've sad got, song I got some I got something on that I just junk, junk my headphones out don't worry about it I can't hear anything but it's alright um, the thing I hate about that right is when you're watching X Factor and it's like yeah this is, I feel like this is my, the last time I've got an opportunity to do this mm. and uh, you know ever since my son passed it's what he wanted me to do it's like I Okay, you might have done. Yeah, they've gone for the yeah. And it's like I, I'm. This, they're already in the house talking to the woman, and it's like, oh, so you know she does well because they're not going to waste all yeah, that time. Yeah, that, that's what I always get. About and then it. at the end, this I'm to- actually talking about a very specific one, like a couple of weeks ago. She was like, oh yeah, and my son passed, and my other son, he uh, he passed as well, and I'm, I've just got one boy left now. And it's like you're already through. Save that for the next round if you just ch- you like. Don't tell us that. <gasps> we, I'm I'm now voting for you because yeah. you've said this. Yeah, and yeah, I just get a big beam in my bonnet because it's like I want to vote for you because you can sing or you yeah. can do an act or you can do whatever. And it's like oh, I'm a sun past. Oh, I think th- it's probably the TV studio that push for that story. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Probably not the person because like no one really used that as a leverage. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. I think it well, would be like the, not, anyway. No, I mean um, I'm guessing. I totally believe someone would definitely. Uh, some people, some people are like definitely, it, though, but yeah. Yeah, I think people probably have gone on there before with like false leverage. stories. Yeah. Oh, false stories. That's another level. Yeah, false yeah. stories. If, it, if yeah, you yeah. use it, like, if you, there's one thing to use, like, a story that's legit happened to you as mm. leverage. Use a false story. Oh, no. A false story is another just level. Just for the record, Ooh. I'm not saying that woman was using a false story. Oh, no, no. Totally no, believe. No, 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 totally no, no, believe. Yeah. Just saying. We're I just bet saying, people. imagine if someone used a false story. No, 100%. Which they would. Like, 100%. I, I know. Same with Jeremy would. Kyle. Like, I bet half of that's made up just to get mm, money. Yeah, probably. I, I don't doubt that. Do you know anyone who's ever been on Jeremy Kyle? I do. 
Yes. One a person. Guy called, uh, should we say names, do you think? We come from Boston. We no, probably I can't know remember 17, the name. I, I remember the name of the guy. A guy called Billy, uh, Billy Joe Filmer from Boston. <laughs> of course oh, he know went Billy on. Do you know, you know who I mean? With a name like that. He used to come Billy Joe Filmer. <laughs> Billy Joe. Um, Billy Joe. He used to come into the, the shop me and Dave used to work at all the time and like just stand oh, on the Xbox him, yeah. and just, just be a... Uh, just a nuisance and just stand there all weird. God, I bet you guys have some stories from working there. Hey, oh, yeah. Lord, jeez. Well, Jake was my manager, so <laughs> it literally. <laughs> did you make him? <laughs> like, did you bitch him around and make no. him do stuff? They totally the opposite. It'd be like, totally yeah, I need something to do upstairs, and I'll go upstairs while other people would just play like Game Boy Advances. And yeah, it's like oh. Sunday morning. We've been out like, on a Saturday boys? night, and me, I'd I'd wrote me and David on a Sunday, and like a couple of other lads, a couple of hard workers. Shout out James Meanwell. What an actual, what, yeah. what an actual lad. And uh, and another guy called Luke, but he's a he's a dickhead, so it don't matter. <laughs> <laughs> no, shout out Luke, anyway. <laughs> no, he's a good boy. And um, yeah, it used to be like w- we'd both come in hanging, like proper hanging. It's like Dave, we need to uh, do a uh, stock count, mate. Yeah, upstairs, yeah, cool. It's and then late. I'd go just lay down in the toilet for like an hour, go to sleep. They would just like turn on the N64 for a bit, live in the dream, and then just then just go home. <laughs> that was it. I love it when you find yourself in those really good positions mm. with work. I mean, I it was uh, to be fair, it was wicked. Full, full um, wait, but when you left, like that's when I instantly hated it. Yeah, because one out to do actual work. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was actually being. I hate it when that. And happens. two, I hate. I realised I hate retail. Like, yeah, yeah. Like ninety percent of people in re- like well, customers are just dicks. That's the fact. Mm. They okay. just are. Oh, did you not know the customers are always right? Um, actually, it's, you're not. That's something uh. they need to l- eradicate yeah. from the system. Oh no! Well, you saw the way I was. I, I didn't. On your that. last day, we won't even. We won't tell that. <laughs> we won't tell that story. We'll tell that off air. Right? Legally, we can't go into that story. <laughs> oh, <laughs> really? Your last day yeah, yeah. was the funniest. Um, I'd yeah. had enough. I wish we could say it, but it's just not. Funny. Yeah, yeah. I can't wait to hear this. Yeah, that's it's a good shame we can't share it. I mean, on I was going to tell the story of my last day at, s- at s- a certain place. But if I don't tell you the story of the certain place, maybe I can tell you what happened on my last day. Please. Okay. Okay. So the certain place that I worked at, the assistant manager, who was the one who looked after us all the time. I mean, this place was amazing. I was kind of in your position, mm-hmm. Jake, um, for a certain yep. part of the day. I'm trying to not give away whereabouts of work. <laughs> uh, <laughs> for a certain chunk of the day. And basically, they needed staff all the time, so I recommended people. So basically, I had all my boys there. Nice. All my boys all Got the time. To. And then even, like, there would be three or four of us. And then when the next shift came in with four people, it would be my boys. So it was just fun, fun, fun. We did, dicked around. I was probably, like, 17, so we had the best fun ever. Nice. Anyway, but there's this one guy who treated us like shit. And that's mainly why we mucked around and dicked around and didn't respect the place. Rebellious because, youth. Yeah, he treated us like fucking shit. Like he locked us in the freezer for half an hour once. Mm-hmm. And we were like, you're a that's fucking dick. And he would just make you do really horrible shit. So yeah, we all hated him. Anyway, on my last day, he actually, sh- the upstairs part where we had our canteen was also his shared bathroom. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I don't even know why I'm telling this. I'm not telling this story. It's th- <laughs> I've just remembered it. It's too disgusting. I'm going to leave you on a oh, cliffhanger. What? And I'm leaving it to your imagination, guys. And they uh, basically, yeah, we got our rain back. It was incredible. They stole all the toilet paper and left. And yes. that's how it ends. <laughs> <laughs> we nicked all the toilet paper. And then we got him back. <laughs> Take That'll that. teach ya. <laughs> That'll teach ya, boy. Have we a- threw paper all over his car. <laughs> the old school way. <laughs> we cling filmed his car. <laughs> what do they call that in America when they throw a toilet paper? It's in. like a, yeah, that they throw it over the school and stuff like yeah, that, yeah, don't yeah. they? Like over a tree and ha- houses and st- homes and stuff. Homes? Uh, yeah, houses? Is that a word? Houses and your home. A house is someone else's home. Homes is. Oh, there we go, yeah, I got you it. You throw them over homes is. <laughs> Why do you sound like Gollum when you say it? Homes. 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 That's not. Well, that, turn, <laughs> that turned into Lilo and Stitch for no reason at all. <laughs> um, I, uh, I'm i just uh, turning on my phone here because I've, uh, no good. I've got some notes and stuff. So I'm going to have a look and see what actually... Because there's Hang loads on. of cool shit fair, that happened to Talking it. about phones before you... Oh, yeah. I'm going yeah. to jump, jump in before jump you Jump in do. because we have been trying to talk about this for ages. Yeah. Um, iPhone 7. 7 yeah, Plus. I wanted to talk about this last week, but we had Declan on and we yeah. brushed across it, didn't we? What are you saying? Yeah, sl- yeah, because it was into technology. So let's, 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 let's break it down mm-hmm. for anybody who, d- who doesn't know mm-hmm. what the iPhone is. So basically, the biggest, uh, the biggest thing the iPhone 7 w- has changed um, is they got rid of the headphone jack. Yeah. I mean, no if you haven't heard of this no news, headphone jack, where have you been? Yeah, if, 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 you, if you're listening <coughs> to this, chances are you, you did already know that. 
and they yeah. decided for whatever reason Apple um, giants Apple just went you know what everyone's used headphones for a lot of years nah let's change the let's game let's get rid of them let's get rid of it for everyone and there's they've sort of allowed it to still be used I mean I said it. to I said to Dave why mm. why because they've got courage why because because of, of space Courage and space. <laughs> I see. I don't buy the courage bullshit because that's what they said. They said, uh, I mean, I know what they mean by <sighs> courage. Yeah, but when you're a multi million pound company, yeah. you're not really taking a leap, are you, of faith? It's not courageous to kind of say. But I think, because I, the, what I think they mean by courage is that they knew that would split the opinion so, so much they may lose out on sales. So it's, a, it's a, an act of courage. I will I, give you it in very loose terms. Mm. Mm. I, that's just my opinion. I'll give you that in very loose mm. terms. When they yeah. said it, I had like a knee jerk. Because it's, like, it's courage for them to change something drastic that <laughs> that they uh, they know something will split opinion. Yeah. Well, I'm still buying it. I bought. <laughs> we bought it. So have you, have you guys pre-ordered? Yeah, yeah. I got my. I pre-ordered mine yesterday, and they said, "Oh, it's going to be about six weeks for delivery." Is that how long it is? Mm. So why uh, everyone instantly, you know, the memes come out about it straight away. Yeah, yeah like of um, uh, which were funny. Some of it, I, I, yeah, I yeah. laughed at, pissed myself at videos that I watched, like of them uh, just taking the piss out of the whole thing. Which it, it, there are some creditable kind of like points in there, but like essentially, I th- I, I think it's. I think it's a step forward. I don't think they've executed it the best way. No. But I still think it's a step forward. I think they really should have gone wireless charging as well with totally. it this when, year. When wireless came up on the screen, I was like, Everyone shit, thought, oh. wireless charging, wireless headphones. Because and they went, yeah, I'm we're <sighs> taking away the headphone jack. Anyway, next point. So it's like, whoa. I am totally surprised they haven't mastered that yet, to be fair. Because, like, mm. is that not the obvious thing to, to I master? think I think they're holding it for, like, next year. Not even next year, probably two the years. The technology already exists. Yeah, because, like, um, Cause like Siri, the Samsung. Got yeah, the it, Samsung do it. Yeah, you put it on your little pad and you go, yeah, it's charging. I had this... Um, I had this argument though, like, yeah, we're making everything wireless and stuff, but shouldn't you know, like wireless charging? You how if you was just straight wireless charging, which I don't think you'd. Oh, Apple might actually. You won't go all out wireless charging like it's the only way you could charge it. Else, you'll be bringing out like a pad with you everywhere, and that's just more space, like a pad, like a block. I don't know. Is Wi-Fi charging a thing? I'm sure I've heard that mentioned before. Can no, you imagine if on. you charged from Wi-Fi? I that, don't. That's got to. I mean, it's one thing to have Wi-Fi flying around your brain anyway. Then charging Wi-Fi. I don't know. If that's a if thing. If that's not a thing, then. I need to work on that Wait, shit. Let me yeah. just have a look. Keeping in mind, like Apple's research and development spend like fifty-five billion or something <laughs> ridiculous. <laughs> Website, yeah. If that's not a thing, I'm making it when I get home. I like take twenty quid out of my savings. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I haven't even, even got that in my savings. <laughs> Rob, I've got, got, got your overdraft. I've got an article here that says Wi-Fi charging works, but it can't really power your phone. Oh, so yes, it's it popular doesn't news work. right it now. Does exist. Still <laughs> like this. Rob, they beat you to it, mate. They had more than 20 quid. I'm just a genius. Yeah. But someone beat me to it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, I come up with that. It's already a thing. Yeah, well, I thought of it. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, it's already. <laughs> yeah, but I didn't know that. I just don't have the funds, guys. <laughs> Basically, the technology isn't quite there yet, but it is possible. Yeah, now, can you imagine that? I don't know what. Going to a service station. To your, Ch- like, head, your, though. Yeah, no. You are fucking with, like. What? So, you, I, I just go, oh, I'm going to connect to this Wi-Fi. Oh, and full battery. Oh, <laughs> no, I don't like that. I, why I wouldn't you like it? I, I probably would. I think our br- tiny brains can't conceive something so... Well, it's not even that far-fetched anymore. But, like, when we thought, like, messaging through the... like, Even when you really break that down, that's so weird that you could be yeah. in your house, like, 50 miles away, even even across the world, and you can send, like, a message. Well, and we don't... We take that I so, remember so much for granted like, now. a couple of years ago, I was sat in a bar in, like, Mallorca or something like that watching football right next to the sea, and I FaceTimed you... And you were like in bed in like <coughs> Boston. Yeah. And it was just like. Oh, it's so trippy. That I'm like it? here with a cerveza on my lap, like next to the sea. And Dave's like in bed, like in Boston. And it's like, how is this? This is technology. And this was like when FaceTime first sort of come about. So it was new. It's, you know, it's, it's still done pretty now. impressive to be fair. Yeah, yeah, that. I like it. But it's like. That concept. From, um, from just going from like a, a fucking Razor flip phone that could only text to yeah. that, what's the next? What's next? I don't. I was thinking about this the other day. Like, phones were cool back in the day to get smaller, 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 mm. smaller, and flip. Like, I wanted the tiniest phone, and now it's cooler to get the biggest, 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 biggest. 
What the fuck are they going to do next? Go smaller, 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 smaller again? Or I is I wouldn't. I've got the 6S Plus at the minute. I wouldn't go back to smaller. When I hold other people's small phones, I'm like, wow. I, yeah, it's pretty yeah, small that's now. A, that's quick look it just, it's it's big, like, but I really like... The it fits. I, I, the worry I had, it wasn't fitting in your pocket. But anyone listening who was thinking about going, it, it does. It fits. Yeah, me and Dave pocket. have got the, the the phone. The only thing I find is with that is holding big. it in one hand, it is difficult to text or to reach the things. Mm. You, it is kind of a two-handed phone. To be yes, because you, you change your grip. My grip has now changed, like from just shifting. But it is. I do. Uh, I mean, I look at the dip in your little finger. I don't know if anyone's ever done that before, but like if you look at where your if you rest your phone in your hand. Mm. Um, you rest on your little finger, yeah, yeah. And if you look, you have got a massive dent in that little. Do you finger. think we're going to evolve to have that dent in we're our fingers? Yeah, we're definitely going to evolve. It's going to become like a little shelf thing, <laughs> and our spines are going to be more crumpled no, no. over from looking at phones. Rewind, real quick. Our eyes <laughs> will no, become no. Uh, <laughs> what? Rob, you, the, the the phrase you just said, our hands are going to become like a little shelf thing. <laughs> I love that. This guy who just Robert said Swain I'm, a I'm a genius. My finger's going to be a shelf. <laughs> <laughs> Evolving into shelf hands. <laughs> <laughs> Storing like a little biscuit in it. Like a little, like a little, like a little Ikea. Yeah, just like a little Ikea hands. hands. Ikea, Ikea hands. Little pens and shit. Apple's new product, IKEA. Oh. No, don't like it. Just before we stray away too still far from the iPhone Seven. Mm. So another feature is like what I'm really not. Um, I don't. Could anybody wrap this up? Who's because uh, I kind of watched the keynote, but I was driving and listening to it. So naughty. Uh, well, uh, emphasis on the word <laughs> listening. Oh, okay. Not so. Okay. Um, <laughs> not so naughty. Not so naughty. Good point. Uh, but can anyone explain to me the home button? Yeah, okay. it's haptic feedback, right? So it it doesn't click in. No, it's it's not a button. It is a solid state. So like solid what Samsung have been doing. Oh shit! So yeah, yeah. You, you don't it's not it. a button anymore, Rob. It's you not just, a button. It's still it's, a circle. It's basically just flat. It's like like your screen is, but it's now just. But it has haptic feedback. It's not called haptic it's feedback. It's it? called taptic feedback. Is it's it actually? It's Apple's own thing. They. They've uh, named it Taptic. So what was haptic? It's like it gives you a slight little, a slight little vibrate, like a little. Oh, cool. Th- th- so you get some kind of feeling back. So right? you know Instead that you're pressing t- a button. So yeah. Like so basically, you know you touched it. Oh, mm. I don't know how I feel about that. I don't know. I mean, whatever. It didn't I'll, need it. I'll be honest. When I, I quickly forgot about that until you just said it. Then that w- that just wasn't the thing for me. No, I was just like, yeah, cool. All right. The biggest feature because I am going for the seven plus for me is the camera. Now mm. I take a yeah. lot of pictures. Um, yeah, and if I had like a really good digital like camera, would you use the zoom? <coughs> I think the zoom maybe only useful for certain people. I was a bit shocked by the zoom thing. Like so anybody who is yeah. anybody who doesn't know the iPhone seven has two. Ca- the iPhone seven has plus. one camera, yeah, yeah, but the yeah. iPhone seven plus, the bigger one, has two cameras. Yeah, oh, yeah. so it's only in the plus. That only two in the cameras. plus. Yeah, I didn't know that. Mm. And w- so the. Uh, it allows you to zoom in like up to ten times more, yeah. and it's a more of a wide angle lens. Do you know what? Do you know what really like not irked me? Because uh, first of all, no one uses the word irk anymore. <laughs> no, I like it. I've yeah. never heard it before. What really annoyed me? I'll use that instead. Is what ground your gears? What really ground my gears? What really grated my cheese <laughs> was the fact that it was like, oh, we got the world's best photographers to go out and try this. Like, I'm not taking photographs like that. Like, I'm taking a photo of my cat in the sink or something. Or yeah, but it's going to look... Yeah, here. it's going to look absolutely <laughs> stunning. Yes. And it's like the whole... <laughs> Will it, though? That's de- the thing. Depth of field, like, background. I nice. don't think I'll use that. Oh, God, I, I would. I'll be I, When I was watching it, that, I was like, oh, my God, this is the best thing in the world. This is, like, better than... Because they got you, This is better yeah. than Canon, this is. Canon can shit off. I don't need a <laughs> digital SLR at all. <laughs> I've got Canon. an iPhone. I think it's cool Nikon. that it does, like, g- uh, uh, lower that, like, um... What is it called? Depth of field yeah, on yeah. the fly. Yeah. It's got an actual name, but that doesn't come out of the box though. That's still a look. Yeah, that's way coming out. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So, s- and I think that's coming out for all of them. Don't quote me on that. I mean, I we're think that's just technology. That's I think that's for the phone. yes, that's all of them, including current gen as well. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Do you know what though? I it's, it's a software update, not hardware. I went Blow. to um, <laughs> I went to uni did photography. I loved having the camera around, but they're mm. big, they're clunky, they're not on the move. These things are absolutely perfect. So if they're upgrading the camera and making it better, then wow, having a really decent camera that's yeah. attached to your phone is also not having to two things or a bag mm. or anything like that. Now, I watch um, sorry, I, w- I watch a, like a lot of um, like vloggers on YouTube and 
and they use a lot of like the digital digital SLRs. Yeah, there's, they there's do, a few yeah. that use iPhones. There. There's a guy called um, Syndicate. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. He uses an iPhone. He uses iPhone. Yeah, and his videos look fine. Don't really. Know but I think difference. the next that's going to be like the next thing for vloggers because that's got to be easier than carrying like a, an SLR. Yeah. Now, surely. I know the quality is not as good because that's a that's a built for purpose camera. It's the autofocus they buzz off as well, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So hmm. so maybe that's like the new vlogging machine. Vlogging is going to get bigger and bigger. Oh mate, it's 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 massive. I I started vlogging in the beginning of this year because oh, I didn't have time to fucking edit all the footage. It's a lot of editing, mate. A lot, a lot, a lot of editing. I I do watch an obscene amount of vlogging. Like yeah, I do. Like Syndicate Vlog- and Zoella and Alfie Days, and <laughs> I'm actually obsessed with like <laughs> really? Zoella. Like, Zoella as well. Is she time. still going, mate? Big time. I'm actually a legit obsessed with like her vlogs. Is Alfie a boyfriend? Alfie has a boyfriend. I yeah. watch PewDiePie. I wouldn't really call that a vlog. It's more videos. He, he does it. He PewDiePie. Did a I watch a few gym guys as well because they're quite entrepreneurial. This one guy, anyway, so he t- taught me about food and macros and then exercise. But then he also owned like a company which I enjoyed watching. Then he opened a gym. So I like the business side of that vlog. Mm-hmm. Started Syndicate. Watched it. No, not for very long. I d- yeah, I get that. But bored after a while he's a bit like oh i'm so thankful look at my massive house and nice car yeah oh but i'm so grateful and you've given me the opportunity look at my nice house and my hot tub yeah so, yes we get it tom you've got loads of money yeah so i didn't really click with him but then harley mansantine how do you pronounce it Morenstein. 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 Yeah. i keep dipping guy. i keep dipping and he has got a new girlfriend in his past four or five vlogs been a different girl wow okay um i just want to say like i tried i watched his vlog like I think we were, we were talking about so this last, yeah, yeah, we were talking about this last, last night. night, yeah. I find it so boring, man. What like Harley. Harley is. Yeah. I think Harley but is really sh- gone. Oh, I don't get him. He should be fucking hilarious. He is hilarious. He he was. Wait, what do you mean? Like do Epic Mealtime. Time. Think he wa- Epic Mealtime was a great idea, but I, I think just don't edited. think he's hilarious. Ed- yeah. Edited. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Very good point. His editors are a lot funnier than he is. People because I think about this as well, because like I'd love to make a comedy just a sketch show or whatever, like you can film, like, say, Keith Lemon, when I used to watch him before his Celebrity Juice when he was, like, had DVDs going around um, the world as Keith Lemon. Um, you could literally film for, like, five days and then just get 10 or two minutes of absolute yeah, gold. Yeah, sure. If you filmed us three for, like, a week, you could probably condense that down to one minute of absolute gold. Mm. Editing is key. Oh, big so time. So I don't really trust that people are hilarious. Editing sometimes. is key in it, like, we've pointed out last week won't we editing is key in anything really like it, him in a vlog it, I was just I was just so bored and like, he, he doesn't like he offers nothing for me I like, don't think yeah. he's even that funny like I'm just like I mean like, he's like, got an interesting life so it should be fun and funny yeah, but I don't think it's that interesting it's like Casey, it, Casey, Casey co- every day Casey like every it. day he, yeah he, he, he's, he's interesting to watch it. every day do you know what I didn't like Casey Neistat and then you guys started like popper bumming off him a lot like on Facebook, and I was like, okay, I'll give this guy a go. I watched, I, I watched most days, and I think the more and more I watch him, the less and less I want to watch it more. I think he's got, it's got to a point where I've seen literally everything that he does now. I get that. I haven't watched him in a month, and me yeah. and Laura watched him every single I day yeah, I watched for him probably well. three, four months, and yeah. then he blew up, absolutely blew up. And I don't know why I've stopped watching him, because I still love him. I watched I, him the other night. When, I when I, I first started watching him, he was at like, just over two mil subs or something like that. And he's at like four and a half now, which he's, he's gone big. I mean, he just won that GQ yeah, medium man or, or whatever it was, medium man of the year. And it's like he was sat at his table and then he walked on stage and then put his sunglasses on. Yeah. And it's like, I don't like, which is kind of weird because I love Kanye West, who is an actual dick. Uh. But he walked on and put his glasses on and started like basically vlogging. And it's like I watched that yesterday. Is it awkward? Night. Because that's what he is, though. That, he yeah, the glasses that's exactly and he is vlogging. Image, like, and that's, that's exactly yeah. why I put him on at that point, because he is getting filmed. I if he it. wouldn't have done that, then I would have been more weirded out. I, yeah, I think yeah, so, because you I, got I know used what to you it. mean. I know, but he was like, he was being Casey Neistat when he was sat at the table, no glasses on, talking to the camera. Yeah. And then he got on there and he was like, put his glasses on. And it's like, I know it's his image and that's it's his. It's his brand. But it's like the way he just walked up. And I, I just, I don't know, I'm off it, I think. Did you um <coughs> go through? Stages, did you see his vlog about Virgin Airlines? Uh, what no. the recent one? Yeah, where when he was stood in the middle, the thumbnails, him stood in the middle, middle, middle. Yeah, oh, that they bar. Have, they oh no, a or was it? On oh Airlines? no, no, yeah. Oh, are you on about on the plane? Because I saw yeah. him in when he was really, really late for the boarding lounge, and they had like a hot tub and stuff like that. Yeah, 
Is that what you're on about? Or I actually don't on the know. Plane? I think he's actually on the plane. Oh no! He had a bar in there. That's his one from yesterday. Yeah, he had. A b- yeah. Was it yesterday? He had a bar in there. He had. A, he got shown around a spa. Yeah. I didn't yeah. even know you could get spas on planes. No. What? I didn't. That's ridiculous. Mate, I fly. I fly economy Ryanair, mate. I don't. I don't go to. Well, he's, he was. He showed you around class. this like dope what i assumed was first class kind of uh luxury treatment mm. he had like his own space and a little box area and it looked like first class and he's like this is not first class this go- gets even higher then that's oh when he God. went to the spa room and bar in the back and you're like what Shit. there's a bar like a legit a bar probably the size of this God. room in a place do you think you'll ever, people live. ever be at a point in your life where you're like yeah doing that yeah i hope you I do. generally do i always do you know what mate i think hope you posit- do i hope you think do. positively keep creating Keep doing stuff. Get your head down. Be motivated. I, I'm a big believer on positive thinking. Thinking where you're going to go, where you want to go. Don't give up. Keep going. What if or not? Oh, fuck, I'm in. Count me in. I'm doing it. Rob, Come, with me, guys. <laughs> Come with me, guys. Get Let me d- take you there. Everyone just cling on to Rob, quick. <laughs> Come with me, guys. Let's I'm go there. there. Mate. I'm, I'm there. Come I think um, you need to put your fingers in many pies, and one of those pies Ooh, will, will I got in trouble cook. For that. I've never been allowed in Greg's again. <laughs> 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 the <laughs> pie molester. <laughs> wap, wap. Oh, no, I, um, I was going to make a point about kissing the nice dad and watching his vlogs and getting bored. Right, mm. I've got a little point and I was just thinking um, because I wondered why I got bored of it as well. But if you associate that to or relate it to so you've got a new album, you've bought a new album, you and play it over go. and over and mm. over again. Not so much now, back in the day. Play it over and over again. After two, three weeks, you get bored, you leave it, and you put it down, you pick it back up again in about three months. You're not wrong. Is it the same thing? Because I, I might I go back is. to Casey Neistat in a, in a month's time, and then maybe work my way back again. Same with PewDiePie. I stopped watching him for probably a year. Now I've gone back to him again. I think you just get bored of the same thing over and over you again, know don't you? You're probably right. Because, yeah. No, you get okay. bored of the same thing, yeah, don't right. you? You're right. All right. Fucking hell. <laughs> These thoughts, mate, just keep popping out. <laughs> mate, take that sugar off him. <laughs> <laughs> it's podcast talk. It's like, oh, God. We're like 10 episodes in, and I think it 11. does actually... 11 episodes in, and um, I think it makes you think more. Mm. It doesn't make you just speak. You then retract and think about the subject you're talking about. Well, this about. is like my first one, so I'm like thick. Yo, yeah. <laughs> I'm in like, the podcast. I'm, I'm back to like you're caveman of the podcast. I've yeah. gone in fully dry. Gone in full dry. I'm not. I'm a bit actually. What got, bit I, I got a bit a bead on when I started. Yeah, no, I like, I'm I'm beading, but I'm not sure if it's all this energy drink oozing out. Oh, like I've had like it's, it's def- normally real hot in here. No, man. it's it's definitely the energy drink because my heart is going at about a thousand BPM right now. <laughs> oh, it's, it's probably this, mate. It's probably this it's big bottle of <laughs> Boss we got on the table. <laughs> it's Mistaken all that bloody. It. It's all that bloody <laughs> ginseng. <laughs> <laughs> Right. Yeah, no, no, no. You um, believe the before, levels. before we wrap up, because I feel like we're peaking a little bit. I'm, okay. uh, I'm, we'll, I think we should end with uh, before we find a better name. I'm going to call it yeah. the "How much would it take?" slash "Would you rather" game. Okay, I'm okay. In. That's catchy. Oh my god, straight in. What's going on? Bloody <laughs> <laughs> hell, David. So welcome to the show. Oh god, we're going to wrap this uh, podcast up with this little game. We, okay. We actually had this game. For like, what, how long ago was it, Rob? I think it was like episode four or five. It was quite early on. Yeah, it was. So I'm going to bring it back. Okay. Uh, for Jay, uh, who who should we go first? I reckon we should let Jacob go first. Oh my god. And I'm going to go back and forth. Oh my god. So basically, I'm just going to explain the rules of this game. Please do, because um, I have no idea. What's going on. Lost. It's heavily inspired by Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. Is it? Is it? <laughs> <laughs> what kind I, of I wasn't getting that. I was getting weakest link. Yeah. What did you get? I thought he'd gone all Anne Rob I want us. <laughs> Until I find out about a name, how much would you take? How much would it take and would you rather game? That's a that's a title. <laughs> that's that's a tongue twister. That's a sticker. That. That's a sticker. It. That's a sticker right there. So I'm Go gonna on. start with uh, Jake Kelly. So oh. we're gonna start okay. with uh, how much would you take? Okay. I'm gonna well, say much, yeah. actually I'm gonna ask you t- Jake, would you rather have how much would it take question or would you rather question? I'm so confused. <laughs> um, would you rather? Would you rather? How much would it take? Okay, okay you can choose, yeah. Okay, your first. Would Ooh, you, do I get to well, choose? I, yeah. I have you a choose. limited amount of these, so be okay. very, uh, unless I make them up on the fly. Why, have, you, have you literally just wrote them up? Yeah. While oh. I was doing this. Amazing. On the fly. We don't do anything this by guy. Anyway, genius. Jake. And uh, by the way, I should explain. At the end of it, I'm going to say whether I believe you or not. Okay. <laughs> I don't, I'm, I'm nervous now. Oh. So, Jake, question one. I'd fail. I'd fail. <laughs> I'd uh, fold so quickly. I think I. Uh, Go on. So, Jake, mm-hmm. would you rather? Okay, your first would you rather question. Mm-hmm. 
Would you rather have sex? Keeping oh. in mind my fiance will be listening to this. <laughs> Would you rather have sex with a hideously ugly person oh. or a beautiful fresh corpse? Oh, there's a question. Well, you, uh, yeah, well, it's it's a no. It is a no-brainer because one of them is alive, and one of them is dead. Right, but it, one of them's ugly. What, like Hunchback and Notre Dame ugly? Yeah, real ugly. But sh- but they're still alive. <laughs> one of them's dead. One of them's legal, and one of them is technically illegal. <laughs> technically. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna go for option A. And one of them's dead. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, Sinead, you sure? I'm very positive. Lock that one in, please. Oh, I locked it in. I believe you. Thank you. God. I believe you. I believe you. I'm pleased you did. <laughs> right, over to Rob now. Rob. <sighs> so, do you want to, how much would it take or would you rather? Question. Um, oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll just go the opposite to, yeah, um, switch it. to what we had just had. So, yeah, I'll switch that and I'll go for the money one, please. Okay, Rob, your first, uh, how much would the it take? Money the money I'll one. I'll give the money one. Your first, how much would it take question. Here we go. So, Rob, how much would it take for you? To eat white dog shit. Oh! No. <laughs> to eat white dog shit. Does that what even is exist the minimum anymore? Amount? I've not seen that in years. It's uh, it's on its way out, mate. It's, <laughs> it's so last year. It'd be hard to get hold of, but it's on its way out. Oh. So how much would it take for me to eat white dog shit? <laughs> Fuck. What question? <laughs> it's white as well. <laughs> His dog shit has gone off so flipping bad. Okay. Um, <laughs> I don't think it will taste as bad as pure dog shit. Really? I don't. I think the, the, the flavour would have dried out. So I'm going to go for... I'm visualising tasting it. Um, 350 quid, mate. Give me that Ooh. and I will do that. Yeah. But if I put 250 quid in front of you right now and gave you... If I saw the cash. If you saw the cash. I would go for the cash. Oh, see? You it's can always cash. go a little bit lower for cash. With the cash. You? you do it cheaper for cash. I'll do it cheaper for cash. I will eat white dog shit <laughs> for two fifty cash. <laughs> All right, well, do you believe me? Here we go. Do, you, do, you do I believe you? <sighs> it's tense. I'm nervous. I don't know if I bug myself. I don't believe. Oh. You. Oh. I think you'd do it for a lot less if the money was out there on the table. A little oh. lump like that, fifty quid right now. Yeah. Oh really? I really think. Well, so. I don't. I don't know myself, so. <laughs> 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 That's why I don't believe you. Over back to Jake then mm. now. So uh, how much would it take or would you rather question? Well, I'll go the opposite of what I've just had, which is the same as what Rob just had. Okay. Which so is the uh, how, much? how much would it take? Yeah. Go on. Okay, Jake, a little bit more intense now. This is like the 32,000 plus. Oh, one. this is the big one, Jake. Shit. I Ooh. could either win it all or go home with almost nothing. I'm nervous for you. Except, except in this game, no one wins fuck all. <laughs> They just win dirty dog shit. Dirty. Here we have white dog shit. Dead right corpses. Now. You don't win anything, but you lose a lot of dignity. <laughs> yeah, you have a lot to lose. Jake, not hello. How much would it take yeah. for you? Yeah. Minimum amount mm-hmm. to share a porn video on Facebook. What, just like a random porno? Oh, of me? No, of you. Of you, and obviously your fiance. Shout out, Kel. Big shout out, Kel Robbo. Dave, um, do you mind repeating that question for Instagram? Certainly. Right. Jake, how much would it take Mm -hmm. for you Mm -hmm. to share a porn video with Facebook? Right. Take your time, but yeah, well, it's one of that, it's <laughs> take your time, but do answer. Um, so you've got all your family, your friends, yeah, your, yeah you got not just that, the... you've got millions, you've got m- yes. the world. Okay. How much would it take minimum? Um, I, I don't think I, I don't think I could take it anything less than like retirement money. Do you know what I mean? Like, like how much would you class as retirement money though? This is I, the thing. I'd, I'd, I'd say like five mil. Five mil. I'd take if someone said five mil. Yeah, which is like it's less than what Kardashian took, but we'll, we won't talk about that. And yeah, five mil retirement money. I want to get away. I'm going to go somewhere abroad. I probably won't. D- I'll delete. I'll a- deactivate my account instantly. Can I do that, or does it have to stay up? It has to stay up. Well, I'll just change my name. 
I'm, I'm, go- I'm, I'm going. To, I'm going to Spain. I'm changing my name to Jorge <laughs> and uh, living my life out. Hey, hey are, you, are you not that guy who shared that porn movie? <laughs> well, do you know what? Actually, saying that, how many times do you just see random porn films, just like, like home like stuff? Do you know what I mean? It's like you see like what, weird on shit. Facebook. Yeah, you just see weird shit on Facebook. No, don't you? never like that. Not like porn know. shit. Yeah, I suppose. Just going back though. So you're locking in that. So mm. did you say five mil? I'm going to say five mil, but I do know Facebook's policy would take it down really quickly. Five mil, wow. Five mil, I'd say five mil. Kel, shout out Kel. Five mil. We're going to Grand Canary. Well, actually, we're going somewhere nice. <laughs> <Are you sure, laughs> we're going to Lanzarote. <laughs> yes, you sure, Jake? I am. So well, you're locking in five mil? I will lock in five million, please. Tarrant. I don't believe you. Uh, he doesn't I think, believe him. I think you do it for slightly less. I think I thought about four mil. Three or four. I, th- I had it in my head. I had a number. Yeah. And you went five. And I was like, oh, just I went a bit for five because I don't really like the odd number. Well, I, I know five is an odd number, but like four mil. Like, I like five or 10 or 15. Do you know what I mean? But no. All oh, right. Sorry. I said the wrong thing. Ah, Over okay. to Rob. You don't believe a lot of people, do yeah, it? Yeah, fucking hell. How much, would you, uh, how much would you take, Creston, or would you rather? Uh, would I rather, please, David? <laughs> okay, cool. Your question two. Oh. That music, Mate, every honestly, it gets time. Me, gets me like, it gives me a bit of a goosey bump. Video. Would you rather rob? Right, would I rather rob? <laughs> uh, would I rather rob? <laughs> uh, would yes, rather I would say I'd rather rob. Would you rather rob? I'm going to go gray? with rather rob. <laughs> <laughs> rob, would you rather? Oh, God. Eat your family... Yeah, this is... Go on, mate, go this on. This easy, you, man. Yeah. Okay. Eat your family pet or kill your parents. Yeah, give me another question. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> awful, isn't it? I, d- I refuse to answer that question. Yeah, that's that's terrible. I don't even know why I wrote that down. But I got these off the internet. Already. Would you rather see your other half in a porn video or your parents in a for- porn video? That's a good one. Well, that's intense. Parents, parents, straight off the bat. Off the bat. I couldn't watch my fiance getting drilled by some other guy, I'm afraid. Oh, you used the word drill. Drilled's a horrible it could it Feed. Might, it might <laughs> <laughs> Come see some guy feed my girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> what happens if it was like a really nice romantic slow film? Oh, even That's then. even worse! Oh. Uh, like is it though? Slowly pumping in your mouth. looking into the fucking yeah. camera. Oh, stop it, David! Stop it! Do you, think that, do you think that's worse than like some like massive like gangbang orgy shit? Yeah, like it's some all Samoan bad. drilling your girlfriend. <laughs> 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 the Rock, Dwayne the, the Rock. Rock Johnson. <laughs> Just looking at you, what are you doing? Like, laying the, laying the smike down. <laughs> laying the smack. The smike? The smackdown on right, the Jay, what do you think? Do what you think he's do you reckon that's, that's look at look, yeah, at, look at me Rob. So you'd rather watch your parents go at it? One hundred percent. Then your fiance with the rock. <laughs> yes. What do you think, Jay? I think it's pretty no, I've just looked, easy option, I've looked into yeah. his eyes and he, the camera can obviously look at him as well and I believe him. Yes, yeah, I do know. There is it's lots right. of yeah. yeah, you. It, it, I'm yeah. right. You answered the thing that did it for me is you answered it straight away. Yeah, yeah. I knew and it I 100%, like, yeah. David. Straight away in my brain, it just came out and I knew what I felt inside. <laughs> so, Jacob, your so last question. Last question. Is Go this on. of the evening yet? How much would it take? Because I've got no more. Of the other ones. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, question three for Jacob. <laughs> he got four questions. You got four questions. You couldn't even think of them yourself. You had to Google <laughs> the questions. <laughs> <laughs> what is this guy? I, I kind of loosely Google. Where, Where's Tom? When's he back? Is it? <laughs> I think he's going to be back very soon. <laughs> <laughs> T- T- Tom, All right, cheers, get this mate. guy. This yeah, no, no, okay, done. Jacob, we're getting a bit intense now. Yeah, Question Tom. three. A bit more intense than putting a porn film of me and my fiance on Facebook. <laughs> How much would it take, Jacob, for you, you sir, Jake Kelly, mm? to get book ached? Bukakai. Ah, oh, that's the one. Is that when you get yeah get cheesed up by loads and loads of men? <laughs> Minimum <laughs> amount. I mean, I'll give you the you you're not allowed. To, you can decide when you want to not want to tell anybody. Oh, if I if, if I don't have to tell anyone, that changes everything. Do you think? What, what do you, if you don't do you have to should, tell anybody? Do you reckon we should twist? Someone the needs to find out because if they don't find out, then nobody knows. So Rob, why would you care? <laughs> Rob, twist the question. Hundred quid. I'm know. gonna. Can I throw <laughs> in with a twist? If you, yeah, if you want. Right, I'm going to frame with a twist. Mm-hmm. Hold on, let me just uh, lock the twist in. Ready? Look, can you lock twist. it in? Ready? Okay. Okay. Twist. So the twist is, my friend, the twist is one of your closest friends saw you. Mm. And she's female and she finds it hard to lie to other people. 
There's the twist. That's perfect timing on the old one. Uh, that made me feel intense. Um, so somebody's seen. You do How this much act. Take? You know, because you locked eyes. She's looking through the window. She's seen you. Through the window. Just like that. Like, it's yeah. all over me. In the middle of the action. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and sh there is massive potential she's going to tell all your friends, and it's going to get out there. Mm. Think about this. David, over to you. Yeah. I've locked in the twist. Yeah. Do you know what? I, I like that. I... I, I I don't think I, I don't think I, I would want to do it for any amount of money, to be honest. Or do I have to give an amount of money? A minimum. A minimum. A minimum of one billion dollars. No, billion. Yeah. Well, I, a yeah, billion. Yeah. I don't. I don't really want to be jizzed on by like loads of guys. Mum and Dad, shout out. How you doing? Nice. <laughs> nice to see you. Anyway. <laughs> yeah. Shout out, Peter. You can do a podcast asking the most important questions. Yeah. I uh, came on this because you were struggling. You came on this. I, I, yeah, well, all right. I, uh, Put things David, in my mouth. David, I, I don't think I believe this guy. I'd pr I'll be honest. I'd, I'd probably do it for like 100 grand. See, I knew we could get this out of him. Nah, well, I don't know. I've never, I've never really... Under a grand? I'm gonna <laughs> no, 100 grand. <laughs> I, I'm going to go out. 600 quid. Yeah, I'm going to go it. out and say, yes. Thank you. I believe Thank you. you. Thank you. Under a grand. Yeah. Under a grand. <laughs> 50 quid. <laughs> 50 quid round the back of tits. <laughs> No, I, I wouldn't fancy it. So over to Rob now. Oh, I've got another one. Just the one. Just one, the last one. one now. Last one of the. Uh, last one of the night before oh. we end the podcast. Oh, right. Okay. So this. Oh, I've just pulled myself out. I've got you. I've oh, I've pulled somebody else out. I don't know what I've done. I'm in. I'm in. I'm I in. purposely didn't Saved ask it. Jake this question. Oh shit. Shout out. Thank you. I don't know what it is, but thank you, <laughs> Rob. Dang what's it. the minimum amount of money it would take? And I hope we can arrange this someday. <laughs> if it's doable, I'll do it. To eat the world's hottest chili, which yes, is the Carolina I'm Reaper. I'm I didn't. I didn't ask Jake this one because I asked him yesterday, and he said no amount of money. Yes. Right. Okay. Well, I saw a video on Facebook of those two girls that were floating around yesterday. Yeah. And she what? ended up on a nebulizer. <laughs> that kind of chili. Yes. Yeah. The Carolina, Carolina Reaper. Reaper. Yeah. <sighs> two point. The hottest one is two point two million Scovilles. Now, put that into some kind of context. Um, that's hot. Well, I ate. I've got one in. I've got a hot sauce in there called Pain is Good, and that's thirteen thousand Scoville units, right? Yeah. And that was uncomfortable for me to eat. Two point two million Scoville 2 .2 units. Two point two million Scoville. Which is basically lava. Oh my God! So it's I'm going to go through amount. a lot of pain and maybe need an nebulizer. It's very possible. Fuck. If I were to say one thousand pounds, would you eat that? Thousand pounds a lot, a grand. But a hundred pounds in cash right now. Not a hundred, no chance. Okay, thousand okay. pound. I'm gonna say no. But you're like, mm. but I am teased into the idea. Two and a half thousand pounds. Deal, sealed. Two and a half thousand. Oh, thousand. I, I, I are the pain, the pain. I can get over the pain for a, a day or two for two and a half grand. Like, I think what okay. I can do with that two and a half grand. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take that two and a half grand away from you. Or you can add in a twist. No, no, no I'm just gonna, just gonna take it away. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a grand away, and I'm gonna put fifteen hundred on the table. Okay, what's this for? That, no, that's, that's you, know, you now don't have the opportunity for two and a half. You took too long, so I'm, I'm saying fifteen hundred pound. Would you do it? Can you buy a new tong for <laughs> one thousand five hundred? going down the rabbit hole. <laughs> What's the minimum amount? I'm going one. I'm locking in. Yeah, I'll take it before you rip any more money away from me, man. Oh, we shook hands. My hands are sweaty. I'm so sorry. The minimum of is what one thousand five hundred before it takes any more cash away from me. We're gonna sort that out. Uh, we're gonna yes, fan. Podcast. Let's kickstart that. We can get that on a kickstart. I think he would. No, I actually genuinely shit myself. I thought he was gonna fucking pull some fucking <laughs> shit out of it. I thought you guys would fucking stitch me up here. And it's fifteen hundred pounds. <laughs> oh my god! I knew he had a little panic attack. Before you go, I will like you to try that hot sauce, which is like thirteen thousand. It's, it's like it's not a drop in the ocean. It's, it's two point two million. Fine. My brother always makes me try hot chilies at work, so I think I could handle that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I can't. I had a tikka masala once, and I was down for three days. I've had a coma and my tongue fell off. That's a lie. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> my tongue fell out. I've had the hottest vindaloo in England. Yeah, here he is. Oh, here he is. is. Uh, That's when I was like 16. And my, the one upper. My yeah. arsehole was. Whoa. Johnny Rabbit. Killjoy over here. <laughs> We're not yeah, listening. The, uh, hottest vindaloo uh, in England. Actually, when I was like five, I had the hottest vindaloo in Europe. <laughs> and I ate it through my eyes because I, I don't know. Don't know <laughs> it was like four million scobles. Fuck off. Uh, yeah, Debbie Downer. No, David. Well, guys. Uh, we have been one hour and 30 minutes. Have we really? That was wow. an easy 1.30. I enjoyed that. I just I take your hand. I wanted to end it in a certain way. And okay. I, just, I did have something I wanted to bring up, but I will do that next week if you want. Yeah. Oh, actually. He's if I'm, away. If, oh, if I'm here next week. He's away. Are you away next week? Uh, yes, I am. That's why we're recording two. Uh. Ah. Not one after another. Cause You'll I've, have to come back in, mate. I've got to go home at some point. Mate, you'll have to come back in. We'll have to do this again. I've got I've got something to bring up with you. What um, was we it? We nearly had the discussion earlier. Yeah. On about the the Bake Off. Yeah, I was going to bring it up, but then it just didn't bring it up. We'll, we'll talk about that. I soon. think we'll talk, we'll we'll talk bring, about it. Because yeah. we, uh, more developments might have more come, come We might get some uh, berry news. Yeah, so we'll, we'll do that. that like yeah, yeah. When Dave's back, we'll arrange a podcast. We'll out. Even if we do a sneaky, cheeky one midweek. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. we'll do two in one week. Let's re rock this out. out. Shout out. For sure. Oh, I'm trying one. to get this theme tune to work on YouTube, but YouTube's been absolutely awful. Oh, oh dear, David. Well, I just want to say, guys, oh, no, actually, I just want to say a quick thing. Thank yeah. you. Thank you for having me. It's today. all right, mate. And we'll uh, we'll see you as again because you will be rocking up again, won't you? Yeah, it's I'm fun and It is, isn't it? It's great fun. You just get to chat shit for an hour and a half and then you go home. <laughs> it's great. I love it. It's like coming to youth club. It's effectively. <laughs> I get home and Laura's like, cut my teeth. And she's like, did you know something? Like, yeah, I'm all sweaty and got a stink <laughs> of energy drink. <laughs> off the walls here I had a really good time it's really good I got to speak to everyone and I really 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 loved Skidded it Skidding on my knees all around listening to Eiffel 65 I'm blue I'm blue alright I think we should uh, end it there one hour and minutes and uh, yeah, if we could get you guys to just stare at the camera okay. and wave because this is how we're going to end it out thank you thanks for joining thank us thank you my name is Jake Kelly and I've been the guest today on the Yucky Duck Podcast. By my side is Mr. Robert Sway. Hi guys, you know me from other episodes. So I'd like to say a big goodbye and thank you for tuning in. Back to you, David. I'm warning. Thank you for tuning thank in. Thank you. Thank you for tuning in to episode 11. Thank you. I like we don't know, we don't know these people. I don't know. Just, just keep oh. waving to the camera, guys, as we smile fade away, out. boys. Smile and wave. And end it all. Darren to Rachel and Judy. What is me? Shout out. Help. Help. Save me. Help. I kidnapped Marina Joyce. <laughs>